For today's Chef's Quick Tip, News 12's Tina Redwine zooms with the chef of Bank House to show us how to make their popular lobster spoons. I'm Tina Redwine with today's Quick Tip. Joining us is... Uh, I'm BJ Lawless, co-owner of BJ Ryan's Bank House here in Norwalk. With me today is Chef Ruben Corte. People love your lobster spoons. So they're one of our most uh, popular sellers. Uh, and they're actually quite easy to make. So uh, Chef Ruben is behind me right now. He's sautéing our fresh, it's knuckle and claw lobster meat, which you can get pretty much anywhere. Uh, he's sautéing it with some butter, a little white wine, and garlic. And we are actually going to uh, take our mashed potatoes, or you can do them at home with uh, an instant. Uh, we are going to take our spoons. We use our uh, Asian soup spoons, is what we call them. And we load our pastry bag with our mashed potatoes, which are then going to make a beautiful little display on top of the spoons. So okay. we're just going to do a little swirl there, which you can see comes out so nicely. It's always a good idea to stuff the mashed potatoes beforehand. It just cuts down on the time. The cook time for the lobster meat is only a few minutes. Um, it's really just... Uh, getting it nice and hot. Uh, the lobster meat is about the size of your thumb. We're gonna place one piece per spoon right in the middle. And it's okay if they're a little oversized, it makes it look, look a lot better. Nice. And then we're just gonna do a very, very little small sprinkle of the sauce on top of the lobster, which is gonna soak into the mashed potatoes. It's uh, garlic, uh, butter, and white wine. And this recipe and tip are online. Search for News 12 Connecticut Quick Tips Lobster Spoon with BJ and Ruben. Tina Redwine, News 12.